Let's connect MongoDB to our Express app. First, you have to install MongoDB in operating system. Also, after that, you have to install MongoDB Compass. It will give you graphical user interface to work with. This is what it looks like. Okay, I will add all the links in the description. So don't worry about it. Now we have to add a package called Mongoose npm i mongoose let's go to our env file in the env file let's add mongodb url in here you have a url this is the default url so copy that one and paste it in here if you are using node.js latest version like 18 and 19 you must add 127.0.0.1 instead of adding localhost if you add localhost it will give you an error okay let's go to the mongodb compass and connect now we are connected to the db here i'm gonna create a new database called server yt i'm gonna add one collection called users now i have created the database we don't have to do anything in here let's go to the code let's create a folder called config in that config let's create a file called db in that db i'm gonna import mongoose i'm gonna create a function called db i'm gonna export that default this one is async i'm gonna add a try catch block in the try catch block i'm gonna use mongoose.connect i wait here okay now we have to get mongo url const mongodb url equal process dot env dot mongodb url in here let's get dot env require dot env and dot env dot config all right we have to pass this mongodb url inside this connect after that one let's console dot log mongodb connected on dot connection dot cost okay here in the error side i'm gonna add console dot error error okay now let's go to the index file in here i'm gonna add db and execute it okay i think it should work now let's try and find out npm start here yeah. mongodb is connected now let's go to our model file services users model here i'm gonna get mongoose 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 dot schema create the bracket and we have to pass object in that object we will add name as a string okay so the name is required so by default it is not required if we add a string like this so we can add a object in that object we can add require true then type is a string okay now let's create a model this is the model mongoose dot model then we add user schema we have to export the model this user is the model this is the schema this is how we create a model using a schema this is the model name okay now we have the model let's go to controller file in the controller file let's change all controllers to work with mongodb database first we have to change this to async here i'm gonna import user from user model in that one we have five okay in this way let's remove this users we don't need that anymore let's add a way here let's go to add users that users I'm, I'm gonna get the user and i'm gonna get user dot create request dot body this is a way and it should be async as well. all right we don't need these things now let's name it as new user all right let's go to update user here i'm gonna change it const updated user equal user dot find one and update find one and update this one should be async so i have to add the param here so using this one we find the user and we pass the new body okay all right here i'm gonna delete the user user dot find by id and remove here i'm gonna pass this user id okay, away this one should be async all right let's test our application here i'm gonna first run get function this should be api slash users i'm getting an md i'm gonna add here method should be post send now you can see i have id and the name now let's go to get and check i got the users okay now let's update my current data yeah i'm gonna add chiran one and send so i didn't get the new value here let's try the get function yeah i have the new value so there's a little bit of a change here we have update user right we have to add a new object and type new 
okay here yeah, i'm gonna type chiran one updated and then you can see now i get updated i need the updated object not the previous object that's what this means okay let's delete an item you see this item was deleted now let's get something here yeah it's empty all right guys i did the mistake when adding the url so you have to copy this db name and add it to the url like this okay i did the mistake so refresh the code i'm gonna shut down the server and restart okay here i'm gonna send yes slash users you can see now i have got it in here okay so in this video i'm gonna add exception handling in here by catch here i'm gonna add this one console dot error so i'm gonna copy this line here i'm gonna add another try catch block. here another one i'm gonna remove this random bytes so we don't have to add that one now because automatically mongodb create an unique id in the next video i'm gonna show you how to encrypt password for users and how to create jw and send it to the front end see you guys in the next one have a nice day